Hello everyone, today we are going to be diving into the world of Gantt charts. Gantt charts are an excellent way to visualize timelines and project schedules. So let's just jump right in and create a Gantt chart and Tableau. Step one, open your Tableau desktop. Then from there, connect to your data source. And for this demo, I already have a sample data set. In this case, it's going to be the schedule. And it's a super simple data set where I'm just detailing um, daily things that a person can do, sleep, eat, watch TV, and all that stuff. Now, you have to ensure that your data includes the fields uh, for start date, end date, some task leaves, and other relevant information. So from there, what we're going to do is, since we already have our schedule data set, we are going to pull all of these fields over here into our columns or rows. Now you may, you may be wondering, how do I know how to create a Gantt chart? Now Tableau makes it really easy. If you see here, there's a show me kind of like a small tab showing here, and it tells you what you need for each specific graph. So in this case, for a Gantt chart, you need one date, one or more dimensions and zero to two measures. By default, Tableau is going to provide you with a default view of a tabular or a bar chart but you are going to be able to fix it later on. So in this case, let's start with the start date and the columns. And now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the exact date. So in this case, it's going to tell me a uh, schedule. This is probably the schedule of the person that was creating this, this data set. And now what we want to see is how do we know what are we looking for per each schedule? Now we're going to look at it by task. Now we need to change the mark type to Gantt bar because that's what we're looking for. So go to marks, select Gantt bar. And now we are going to drag our finish into our columns, but right after the start. So in this case, kind of like it got backwards. Now that you change it to the correct position, don't do what I did. You're going to have your start, your finish. Remember that finish has to be in the exact same way as how we have start in the exact date. And now what we want to do is get size for each of these measurements. So what we need to do is that we can create a calculated field from our two measures that we have already here, which is finish and start and saying how long did it took from start to finish for this person and a specific timeline. So in this case, how long did it took it to have breakfast? How long did it took it to um, take lunch, take a math class? And in this case, we already have a calculated field over here. We can pull it into the size. And this is telling us, okay, physics, it took us from, all right, in this case, it was sleep. You have also physics, you also have naps. So you have all this here. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take it a step further. We're gonna bring the category into the color. Now you can see here, eat, homework, music, play, and rest. We already have it categorized for our Gantt chart. And there you have it. In just a few simple steps, you created a Gantt chart in Tableau to effectively vis visualize your project timelines. Now feel free to explore additional customization options to tailor the Gantt chart to your specific needs.